Hello everyone, I'm Mark Sodgrass, and today I wanted to talk to you about mega tables and pivot tables in Domo. Uh, these are really commonly used cards and allow you to kind of get that Excel type look in Domo without having to export a data. And I wanted to just highlight a few chart properties in here that uh, can help you further keep uh, your data in Domo uh, rather than exporting it out and doing those two, three, four steps you might be doing in Excel to kind of get the final look that you want or for a uh, reviewer of your card. So hopefully you'll find these helpful. Uh, this is a mega table a card you're seeing and kind of in the default view. And if we go in to edit this card, uh, a couple of things worth uh, showing in here. One, if we go into the general chart properties and this number of locked columns. This is pretty helpful for if you have a lot of columns like I've dragged into. So right now, then it can get pretty wide when looking at in Domo. So this is essentially the equivalent of freezing column. So if we put the two in here, oh, sorry, that's not the column width, not what we want. We want the number of locked columns. Then you'll see it moves that over. And if we scroll to the right and now, then those first two columns stay put like they should and kind of make for easier viewing. The other thing is kind of helpful if we go to subtotal rows and say show subtotal rows. Now this first column is going to be have a plus and minus next to it and you'll see that the continent is not repeating there so that kind of helps with some of the redundancy and you can default one to be collapsed if you want um, or all of them to be collapsed whatever's in your view and also the total rows which is not enabled by default you can turn that on and you can also hide counts of things either across the whole board or individually. So I turned on the total rows so you see that grand total and I turned off the count so I'm not seeing the counts repeated all the time. Uh, only getting it, I'm only getting sums basically. Uh, but if you did want counts to show up but maybe not for everything, you could turn that off and then you could then change it by on an individual basis. So maybe here you want to say uh, hide subtotal and hide total. So maybe you don't see those at all on that column. Uh, or maybe it's just that you don't want the bottom one to show. You, they're not tied together, so you can choose whichever one uh, that you want. Or again, maybe you just don't want the subtotals uh, to show. Then you can also on that subtotal show as percent of total. And so now you see these subtotals change to percent of total of here on these confirmed new cases. Uh, so instead of showing a count, it's showing that percent of total. So that can be kind of handy for different things that you're doing. And you can save and close. And so you'll see now that when we view this card initially, these will be collapsed. By default, but then you can open them up uh, and see all that data in there. If you want to expand that one out, you see those are showing. So those are pretty handy um, on that on the mega table. I think in this kind of traditional table view. Another request you might have from someone is, okay, I've got all these dates and these amounts, but you know I want to view this by quarter, and I want my quarters to be columns instead of rows. So. You can go into the analyzer and one 
graph it by quarter. So then now it's showing by quarter and you could do month or different uh, metric if you wanted to. So then I like that, it's like, okay, but uh, the person wanted it, wanted these quarters as columns. Well, there's chart property called transpose. So if you click on transpose, now it's gonna shift and put those quarters each have as columns on there. So it'd be pretty nice uh, rather than again, exporting out to Excel and then pivoting the, doing a pivot table or something like that. Uh, which also leads us to you know, just using a pivot card, pivot table card in general. So if we jump over to a pivot table card, uh, one thing that it does uh, kind of by default is build those subtotals for you and you have ex further expansion on uh, collapsing or expanding that, that data. So that's one advantage um, that the pivot table card has. If you have a lot of things that you might want to collapse or expand, uh, then use the pivot table card to, to do that. Uh, but you can turn those things off. If you want to not show the subtotal rows, then you can turn that off. So then you won't have that collapsing on there. <clears throat> and you can also, um, this one is, is an example of having multiple headers, if you will, on there. So if we go into this, we've just got one item in the row field, the dates. So there's going to go down the left here. And then we've got multiple columns. So we've got the continents on the top and then the countries inside uh, that. And you can collapse those if you, if you want to. And then you can, uh, I think, helpful to use some of the coloring options. And so those are inside the headers, uh, rows and header columns and the subtotals. You see I'm doing this light blue here and then doing an even lighter blue on this first uh, header, if you will. And then I've got grays for the subtotals that I'm using. And for uh, the overall totals, doing a green at the bottom, you'll see, and then a darker gray here along the right. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there's that gray. So those things can help with kind of breaking up uh, especially when you've got kind of multiple columns and whatnot and doing some subtotals in the way, then this helps uh, break that up and know which ones are the individual items, which ones are subtotals, which ones are uh, the grand totals. So very useful. I, you know, I think I uh, encourage you to look through the different properties beyond what I just showed you to, again, keep your user inside Domo and let this be the the final solution and not having to export that data out because once it's exported out, then it becomes a stale and they'll have to repeat that process each month or every time that they're uh, wanting to view this data. So again, I'm Mark Snodgrass and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.